Hey YouTube. So here's the uh, glowfish tank. You can see it's still only stocked with two of the glowfish tetras right now. Um, they seem a little aggressive towards each other once in a while, but it's not so bad. Um, I'm planning to start stocking some Danios back in. It's been about a month since the big die off. The last one died, so I'm going to be stocking some Danios in here. I'll probably do two at a time, back up to four, and hope for the best. Um, there have been some baby shrimp born in this tank. And here you can see some adults working on the moss. But as you can see in this tank, even the males have some good red color to them. I, uh, I call the population by selling the less red ones whenever I take them into the fish store. So I'm hoping to progressively get more and more red shrimp, bright red shrimp. They really like to hang out on the wisteria that's floating up here. You can see it's got some pretty massive root systems. Uh, when I get the 30 gallon, I'm planning to take out these wisteria and plant them in the 30 gallon there. Since they've got those established roots already, they should work really well. You can see I have a small juvenile shrimp back on the blue plant back there. Let's see if the camera will focus. Guess not. But there have been some babies that have been born to this tank in the last couple of weeks, so I think a decent amount of them have been eaten by the tetras, but that's okay. As you can see, not a whole lot's changed. The snail is still doing its thing. It's over here on the filter there. It's gotten a lot bigger. It's about a half inch in diameter now. There's another shrimp for you. But yeah, overall, I'm really pleased with how well this tank's doing. Um, not a whole lot to add to it. Uh, we'll just see what happens when I start adding the Danios back in here in, in a week or two. I'll probably take a video after those guys are a little established, and I'll add two more a couple of weeks after I add the pri the first two. So, I really like that green one over the light right now, so I'm going to kill the light on the tank so you can see what it looks like with the... Uh, there you go, you can kind of see the how the fish really glow when they're over top of the, the blue light on the bottom there. But uh, yeah, in one of my previous videos I, I described how those fluorescent proteins work and I think it's really fascinating. I'm a, I work with them in my, in my job, so they're a lot of fun to, to look at, play with, and there's some really cool pictures. You can see people that have like painted with bacteria that express these proteins on different petri dishes and taken a picture. They've made a, like a tropical scene. There's a palm tree and a beach. This is the kind of most famous one that I see. So Definitely check out kind of the history of fluorescent proteins if you're interested in such things. Uh, or drop a comment asking any questions you might have. I'm going to uh, be quiet and just kind of let you watch the tank for a few minutes and then I'll kill the video.
Alright, thanks for watching.